It might not look it, but I used to be super shy. It really helped me back when I first started working how shy I was, and I wasn't confident in my skills. I was fresh out of college. When I started trying to attack my shyness and increase my confidence head on, I had crazy different response with the people around me. In this video, I'm gonna be going over just a few ways you can start to attack your shyness and increase your confidence today. Let's get into it. Number one, you need to take stock of where you are right now. There's no hiding from it. I would say this is probably one of the steps that I didn't do well way back when. And I think having like a very honest opinion of where you're at, and you might be able to ask people close to you how they think you're going with these things, but that would also be a bit dangerous because if they're not very good at the same time, they might mislead you with misinformation. So this is a hard thing to get feedback on. The best way to see if you're shy or confident is to really see if you're shy and confident. So if I say, hey, I want you to go call this random person on the phone and ask them for this, does that cause you anxiety or cause you to shut down? I know it would have done, done so for me way back when. Now it's just like, all right, cool, but like, I'll call anyone. I'm very not averse to talking to strangers. In fact, I kind of seek talking to strangers when I'm traveling because it makes the traveling a little more interesting. So it's more than people watching. I'm actually, you know, actively participating and learning about random strangers you're never going to see again. It's kind of fun. And that's a polar shift from where I was. <laughs> when I first started working, I didn't want to call like a coworker on the phone and ask them for something. So I wish I would have taken better stock way back when in how, how shy I actually was and being honest. So that's the step one is definitely to see where, where are you now? Let's like take an honest look, figure out where you're at. Step two, practice public speaking around people that you trust. So you can start trying to practice public speaking or public speaking type things like you're practicing for a speech, but you're doing it in front of people that you trust. This reduces some of the anxiety, or it should reduce some of the anxiety of how shy you might be and maybe help increase your confidence. Because the goal here is effectively going to be desensitization to this public speaking thing and meeting new people. That's the end goal here. And that's how you increase your confidence. So the confidence will come when you have the self-awareness and I guess the self-confidence to actually feel worthy of having this stance. So the first person that you need to convince that you are confident is yourself. Number three, don't take criticism personally. When I first started trying to become more confident, I took a lot of criticism very personally. And if it's at work, I would say Hamlin's razor should be at the front of your mind, which is to not attribute to malice what is most likely just incompetence. So, don't feel attacked unless it's very overt that you're being attacked. And honestly, in most corporate situations, I haven't really felt particularly like singled out. Only a handful of times in about a dozen years of work have I ever felt singled out. So it's not very often. And if you just jump to conclusions like, oh, this person's out to get me, then you're probably just going to set yourself up for being anxious and staying shy not becoming confident and not really ascending to your full potential when it comes to your work or your personal life. This will definitely affect your personal life as well if you don't see yourself as worthy. And this will really bleed through your entire life. So this is something that I think any, everybody needs to like address and be more conscious of, especially engineers, because the bar is really low. <laughs> Number four, recognizing your accomplishments. As you get further into your career and you have more accolades under your belt, recognizing your accomplishments is a great way to start increasing your confidence naturally. Again, don't become arrogant, but having the confidence that comes from actually putting in the work and showing you can do the thing over a period of time really can increase your confidence naturally. 
Now, having the self-awareness to see your shyness and start to increase your confidence, and you can start pushing that early, you definitely can do that. And again, everyone should be trying to become more self-confident and less shy, in my opinion, because there's really a whole big world out there for you, and staying in a closed little box is not really gonna do you any good long-term. Number five, focus on commonalities with others. You should be focusing on the things that you have in common with the person that you're trying to talk with. So if you're trying to talk to a new person, let's say at a dance lesson, you have some very easy ways you can start talking to that person. You just bring dance up, and now you have a very easy way to open the conversation, and then you can start working on your conversation threading to take it to some other topic that you're interested in talking with this person about. It, it's really that simple, and it really helped me to reduce my shyness to just realize that if I'm in a space with another person, there's things that I share just from being in that space with the other person that are very easy ways to start talking with that person. So like an easy way to start talking to people at the airport, one of my normal lines would be, how did you end up here? So that's a good way, very open-ended question. Good to learn how to conversation thread. But you could be like, wow, did you see that thing just now? That was super weird. And then you can see what they say. And you can also suss out if they want to chat or if they don't want to chat. And this is something, you know, because I'm not shy at all anymore, this is basically second nature, doesn't move my heart rate at all. And, you know, 10 years ago, I would have been frightened to death to, to think of doing this. This would have caused me serious anxiety. So if, if you want to become a more social engineer, check out the links in the description and join my network. I hope to see you there.